endless supply of cheese. We're gonna all be gassy tonight. Hey y'all, it's G. And tonight I am hosting a charcuterie board night with my friends, wine, cheeses, meats, snacks, and treats, and games and fun. Especially since it's November, it's time for the holidays. So I've saved pretty much most of my macros, my carbs, and my fats for this specifically because as we know, cheese has fat and wine, you can count it as a carb or you can count it as fat, whichever way you want to swing it. And then all the snacks and treats and carbs. So we're going to go through what I bought, how much it costs, and how I'm going to make this charcuterie board. And then just some simple supplies. So I have my cutting board because I'm a little cheap. Uh, buying charcuterie night is not the most cheap. Uh, so I'm going to save and use my um, wood cutting board. And I'm also going to use my pizza rack that I got for my wedding to complete and display my charcuterie board. I got these two cheese cutters from World Market for a dollar a piece, which is great. And then I also bought these cheese knives for $8 from World Market because I have a supply, endless supply of cheese. We're gonna all be gassy tonight. So let me show you the things that I got from Trader Joe's and a couple other places. All right, so first I had these from Costco. I'm gonna cut up some apples in a couple minutes and display them on the board. These are Fuji and apples, so they're really sweet. I also have, you don't have to follow me, but you can. I have organic raw honey from Trader Joe's that I bought uh, two weeks ago that I haven't used, so I'm gonna throw that on the spread for something sweet. We have organic banana chips that I'm also gonna throw on the board. I'm gonna say these were about $3.99. This was probably around $7.99. I have olives that I bought from Costco that I have not eaten yet. Um, these were for a pack of two, about six bucks, which is a pretty good deal. I have some fig and olive crisps. These are crack. My friend Ashley showed me these and these were about $2.99. I also have another box, but this is pistachio and pomegranate. And this is also $2.99, so we're doing pretty good. Organic cracker assortment, so all kinds of crackers because you can't have cheese without crackers. I guess you could, but it doesn't taste as good. So we have this, and this was about $5.99. Peppermint pretzels, 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 because you have to have salty, sweet, and like something a little bitter. So this will be one of my sweets on the tray. This was about $2.49. I have organic pumpkin spice granola bark. So you have some granola, you have some of your dark chocolates in there, and that'll be the sweet and salty as well on the board. I have dried apricots because you have to have some kind of fruit. <laughs> I don't know if it's really a fruit, but it's definitely tasty and that'll be good with all the rest of the stuff we have. And then some kettle corn. Gotta throw some popcorn in there. It's sweet and salty, so that's another thing. Here, that, I, that dry apricots ran me probably about five bucks. These were expensive at Trader Joe's. Usually that stuff's like two fifty. This was about two fifty. And then I have an organic raspberry fruit spread, and this was about like four bucks. So I thought that'd be good. I have three different wines here. I've got these all from Costco because I could save a buck or two at Costco. This one's one of my favorites, a red blend, 19 crimes. It's about nine bucks at Costco. This is Malbec. I love Malbec. Um, I think this one was like around $11. And then this is Josh, a cab sob. So I figured I'd get three different wines. And then people asked me if they wanted to bring anything. And I said, bring a white wine. I don't like white wine. So I, that's why I had them bring it. It's like, if you want to drink it, you can bring it. So the next thing is gonna be the meat and the grapes, which I'm gonna pull from the fridge. So this is another thing I bought at Trader Joe's, pepperoni, everybody loves pepperoni. So this was about $3.50, four bucks. It's not bad, it's a lot of pepperoni. I got this whole thing of red seedless grapes for six bucks at Costco, it's huge. It's a good deal. And then I have my meats. I think I have salami, um, Prosciutto and Copa. Never had Copa, but definitely feeling fancy. This was about 12 bucks. This is a good bargain. 
And as you can see, you get all the meats in that one. The next couple of things that I got, I have Monchego. I've never had this cheese. It's about $6.39 for this thing. I have blueberry vanilla goat cheese. This is my favorite. This was about four bucks at um, Trader Joe's. I have gorgonzola cheese. It was about three bucks at Trader Joe's. I have Haverty cheese, which was about four bucks at Trader Joe's. I have mild Wisconsin sharp cheddar cheese. It was about three bucks at Trader Joe's. I have Monterey jalapeno jack cheese, which is about three bucks at Trader Joe's. And then I have brie, soft ripened brie, and that's about $4 at Trader Joe's. So as you can see, this whole thing probably ran me about around 115 bucks for all of this stuff, but I know we're gonna get bang for a buck. In addition to that, we have the best pizza ever. I swear, $9.99, you get four of uh, these pizzas in here, thin crust. So good. So I'm going to pop them in because I know there's a bunch of boys coming and if they don't get full off the meats and cheese, I got to feed them something. So that's what I'm going to see. And the next time you see me, you're going to see my board put together. It's really important to have your sweet and salty on there.